Apple always has interesting ideas on how to introduce new products. So I figured what better place than in front of the Apple Guitar to talk about our new iPad app for vSphere management. We'll be talking to Srinivas, who is giving us a sneak peek into our new iPad application for vSphere management. Hey, Srinivas, I heard we have a new uh, iPad app that helps with data center management. You want to tell me about it? Yeah. Thanks, Susan, first of all, for having me on the show. I'm very excited to be on the show. Um, as you mentioned, we're actually um, quite excited about the, the iPad. And we're, uh, when we talk to enterprise customers, a lot of IT administrators are buying this as a, as a cool device that they have. And so we want to give them the capability to manage their private clouds from an iPad. And so we're working on a virtual center uh, interface for iPads. Fantastic. You know, I actually talked to a customer a couple weeks ago who said, I want everything on the iPad. Yep. The more portable you can make it, the easier I'm going to be able to adopt it, yep. the faster we can integrate it. So yep. I'm excited that we're going to have something to be able to offer them. Maybe yeah. we can take a look at it? Yeah, definitely. Fantastic. Happy to show you. So Susan, here's my iPad, and I've installed uh, VMware Virtual Center for the iPad app. Let me click on the app. Once I've uh, run the app, I'm going to log in. And once I log in, it gives me a, the capability to manage my entire data center from an iPad. Uh, and unlike the, the virtual center for Windows application that is currently in the market today, we've started from a clean slate and said, listen, how would somebody manage the data center from an iPad where the iPad is much more gesture-based, it's touch-based, right. so you don't have a keyboard, you don't have a mouse, you don't have right clicks. So we started from a clean slate and developed an interface that we think is really optimized for how people actually use their iPads. Right. So here it shows you the list of all the servers that are being managed by this virtual center. Looks like you've got about a dozen of them on there. Yeah, and this, this is stuff that we play with all day. So I'm going to click on one of the servers, uh, and once the information comes up, it shows me the list of all the virtual machines that are running on this particular ESX server. It shows me the amount of CPU that's being consumed on this right. particular ESX server, the amount of memory that's being consumed, what kind of hardware is, is actually on this particular device. And here it shows me the list of all the virtual machines. And, and look, I'm actually using my finger to kind of scroll through, right? This right. is very similar to like how we do album you know, cover flow right. in iTunes. Right. It's, it's that kind of a model in, in terms of how we interact with the system. Then I can click on the performance icon here and actually get uh, historical as well as real-time performance data in terms of how the ESX server is behaving, how much CPU it's consuming, how much memory, how much network, how much disk. That uh, actually it, seems fairly intuitive. I mean, it says yep. performance right there, so yep. it seems like you could just intuitively know that you have to just click there and get yep, the information. Exactly. We tried to simplify it as much as possible. The goal for us was not certainly to have every single feature that is available on the Windows product, right. but to really get the core set of capabilities that IT admins would need on a day-to-day -day basis and really optimize the interface for that. Right. And then the other thing that we have here is uh, the tools icon. When I click on that, it allows me to ping, it allows me to do trace routes and, and do a little bit of debugging type um, activities. Um, and then the other thing that I can do is actually bring up a different server. I'm going to go switch to a different server that has more virtual machines running. And uh, here there's a few virtual machines that are powered on and you can see how we represent the, the powered ons and the powered offs slightly differently. Uh, and for the ones that are powered on, I can actually click on this little icon and get, it's, it's almost like a flip card, as if you're playing, you know, playing cards. Right. When I flip the card, it actually shows me information about you know, how, that, how much memory is being consumed by just that one virtual machine, how much it's disk is being... It's a little, little mini view yeah, into the virtual exactly, machine. Exactly, and I can do that with all the other VMs as well. And if I actually wanted to kick off a vMotion or get additional information about that particular virtual machine, I just click on it. You can vMotion right from your iPad? Yes, certainly. Wow. So you can actually vMotion, and we're going to expose SRM capabilities as well, so you should be able to kick off SRM from your iPad as well. Uh, and here's the information about the virtual machine. It shows you the CPU, the memory, network. Uh, if I go to the Info tab, it shows me more information about the virtual machine. It tells me what guest operating system is running, what the IP addresses are, what the latest events are. Oh, wow, yeah. It shows me all that information. So it gives me a very good view in terms of what's going on in my data center. Absolutely. It seems like most of the things that an administrator will need right at one screen. Yeah. Yeah. So, I mean, the, we're pretty excited to bring this because we're seeing a lot of IT administrators play with iPads, and our goal is to make sure that they can actually manage the data center from any device that they have. And, and we're seeing IT administrators use phones. They're starting to use iPads. They obviously have a PC. And we want to give as much power to them, no matter what device they're actually using. Yeah, I have a lot of customers asking about this stuff, and they just want the portability. They yep. want to be able to do it from wherever they are. Yep, they don't exactly. want to be on call at home and then have to go drive into the office to yep. go fix something or yep. do a V-Motion. They want yep. to be able to do it wherever they are. Yep, exactly. They can do this from the airport, Yeah, getting on a plane. Yeah, yeah. so we're pretty excited to bring this out uh, into the market. Uh, it's going to be, uh, we're going to get ready for betas pretty quickly, and hopefully we'll make it ready as a fling before the end of the year. 
great. And if they want to get in the beta program, they can talk to their TAM, if yep. they have a technical account manager, yep. or their account teams. Yes, exactly. Great. Exactly. Thank you very much, Susan. Thank you very much. All right.